How's it going there, guys? I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs, and I'm joined here with Omar of Geekster Labs. What's up, guys? How's it going? And we're here at the University of Utah. We're actually in Omar's, Omar's visiting me, which is pretty sweet. Yes, yes. I'm and uh, <laughs> For the first time. For the first time. Hopefully not the last, right? No, no. Yeah. Hopefully not. <laughs> and we're here to uh, do a couple of experiments. We, you guys know very well what we think about Beats by Dre. Um, that they're a little overpriced, that they don't sound that great, but we don't really know what the average consumer thinks about them. That's right. So we're going to do a couple experiments today to see what the average person that we're just going to walk around. We're on campus right now in Utah. So we're going to talk to a couple students. We're going to do a couple different experiments. One of the experiments is we're actually going to blindfold them and let them hit, listen to a pair of Beat Studios and listen to a pair of Phillips Uptowns mm -hmm. and see what they pick. And then after we do a couple of those experiments, we'll do a couple of let, letting them actually see the pair of headphones that they're testing out just to see what they say. Yeah. I wonder if he can hear you. Okay, take your blindfold off. And which one did you like better? Um, I would say probably the second one. The second one? The and second. why is that? Uh, I don't know, better bass. I better guess. bass. It, it seemed like, I don't know, the, the first one was tinny. Was it tinny? Alright, right on. Well, which one do you think was which? Oh, I have no idea. We've got a pair of Beat Studios here, mm -hmm. and we've got a pair of Phillips Uptown. Well, I hope that they were the Phillips, because... You hope that they uh, were the Phillips? <laughs> why, why is that? I'm just... I don't know. I, I'm morally <laughs> opposed to Beats. No, <laughs> Alright, Devin, so what is... The consensus. What do you think? Which one did you well, like? The first or the second? So, so the, can I take my blindfold off? Uh, yeah, cool. Sure. Okay. So the first one, like, it sounded like it had more clarity to it. The first one? Yeah, the first okay. one. Like, there was a lot more, like, when the bass hit, it was, like, really good. Mm -hmm. The second one, like, the, the bass was just as good, but, like, it was kind of tinny. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and also, like, the treb was kind of high. Okay. Like, so between the two, which one do you think you'd prefer? I'd probably go with number one. First. Number one. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. You're the second one to do that. So... Uh, Danny, can you grab them from the back for me too? So, which pair of headphones do you think was the first pair that you liked? Which is one? I don't know. We have a pair of Beats by Dre headphones, and we got some Philips headphones. What do you think is the first pair that you enjoyed listening to? I don't know, dude. Um, Take a shot in the dark. What do you think? It's probably Philips. Probably Philips? Yeah. Actually, you were listening to the Beats. Oh, was I listening to the you Beats? You were listening to the Beats. Wow. Okay, well, we'll show you the two headphones that we were using. And we want you to tell us what you think probably was the one that was which. Ah, uh, I would guess that the beats were first. The beats were first. And why would you guess that? Um, because uh, the bigger earphone makes me think it's going to be a little bit bigger sound. Good and reasoning, right? Those felt like smaller on my ear. Oh, did they? Yeah. Well, believe it or not... The second pair of headphones, the ones that you preferred were in fact the Beats by Dre. Oh yeah. Interesting, huh? huh. There's quite a bit of price difference for the... You not know, a $100 difference. Not there. a $100, $100 difference. difference. Well, there you no. go. Alrighty. Well, hey, thank you so much, man, cool. for your time. It's both really, really good. I felt like these were a little more noise canceling, but I could hear the music. Maybe. So as far as the audio quality goes, which one did you like? I think the Phillips had a little Okay, and which one do you prefer? I like the beats because I think it picks up the low level uh, ranges a little bit better, like the mids and lows, whereas these I could already tell that they was picking up like the hi-hats and the high pitches better. And so personally I like that sort of uh, low range a little bit better. I, plus, uh, the way I wear my headphones, I wear hats a lot, so the cups fit me uh, a lot better and that's big on me. But you know, it's the same thing for me. The cups on this fit way nicer I yeah, think on my, just, on my ear at least I wear hats a lot too yeah, it was just hard for these to it, it felt like there was a lot of background noise that was seeping into the uh, that's true hats. Yeah. yeah I was surprised these ones are a lot better a lot better I think so wow and what what exactly makes you think that What what's the differentiation there um, I don't know I didn't touch the volume at all but these ones just had a lot more crisp sound in the bass like I'm not a headphone connoisseur or anything but that it was, I was surprised that 
this one. Right on. So you it's prefer those ones? Yeah. I did, yeah. Uh, here's the funny part. These ones cost $299, right? 300 bucks is quite a bit of money for a pair of headphones. Yeah. And those ones cost 150 bucks. I've heard a lot about these, but... Good stuff or bad stuff? Lots of good stuff. Good Everyone stuff? talks about you got to get the beat stuff, but if I... I'd get these. <laughs> get the Phillips. Um, you know, I they were both really good. I think this one had more clear sound, but not as much, like, bass. Mm-hmm. I put it as. Um, yeah. So a lot of my music kind of does a little bit more bass, so mm-hmm. it kind of really pulls out more so those were kind of a little bit better to me mm-hmm. just for the specific music i was listening to mm-hmm. um if it was more maybe classical music maybe i would take the take these ones those over ones those. Are there, those? yeah and what about you, what you well think? i usually like to listen to music unchanged and with less space uh-huh. um and usually i look for headphones that don't alter the music themselves mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i think these ones actually have some kind of alterer because the music sounded different on the phillips on the, so my yeah. preference would be the break would be the beats, for the beats. yes I interesting, go interesting. More so in conclusion what did we identify so it's pretty obvious that I think noise canceling is probably a bigger issue when it comes to the audio quality because most of the people pick the beats, surprisingly. Yeah, that was one thing that surprised me a lot. One thing that I think might have had to do with it other than the noise canceling, and one thing I found interesting is that when we were doing uh, videos with, uh, with the other pair of headphones, when they weren't blindfolded, mm-hmm. a lot of them said that they preferred the Philips, which I found interesting yeah. because... Beats normally have the history of being the headphone, the popular headphone. but maybe that's dying off. Who knows? Uh, it was it was kind of a shock. I, I honestly, yeah, I'm kind of shocked. I thought a lot more people would be picking the Philips, and apparently the average person, because I guess most of those people don't listen to headphones as much as we do. Yeah. So to them, they like the noise canceling. They like more it's bass true. in their music. And Not to mention the Beats are more comfortable. Yeah, they probably were more comfortable than the, the Uptown. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of perplexed by this whole thing. But Me it too. was interesting to, to find out and do, do this experiment, so. So in conclusion, there is none. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think that a lot of people, you know, like we've mentioned before, each pair of headphones is, is for each type of person. One thing I might like may be horrible for you. The reason I don't like the beats is because I think that the bass is way too overwhelming over the rest of the track. But that's because I don't listen to pop and I don't listen to rap or hip-hop. Whereas someone who does might prefer, prefer that. that yeah. Yeah. So I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. I'm Omar from Geekster Labs. Thank you so much for watching. And as always... Stay Stay snazzy. See you later, folks.